Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today, we are looking at Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the implementation of DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. And we went from 58 with it on to 49 with it off, and that's using the 3062 gigabyte overclock. Yes, so the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark that comes with the game is gives you quite a bit of statistics here and it gives you the different settings um, of your hardware and your drivers. Um, so I really like um, all the information that it gives you. Um, so basically when I use this benchmark it tells me that the uh, 3060 12 gigabyte is quite good with the um, 7700 i7 Intel i7 CPU, which is four cores and eight threads. So the uh, CPU is able to keep up and um, create an, enough frames for the GPU. Now this is with it off on the top and on on the bottom. That's the DLSS. Here is an, another example. And basically, it um, doesn't really show much of a difference. Um, that's fine, that's good. Um, here's some in-game footage of looking at the frames per second. Um, So my on-screen on display there, that bottom red number is the um, frames per second. And I use the NVIDIA GeForce to record the video and when I do that, it takes up to frames per second. So the real value will be uh, plus two. The uh, in-game benchmark, when I used that, I did not record the video. So that's the uh, true frames per second. Okay, turning it back on just confirms the results. So I've done this in a uh, slightly different location. Um, as you probably know, um, when your character looks at different um, areas, um, you get different uh, in frames per second. The frames um, speed um, changes depending on how much needs to be rendered or drawn. So, um, so basically with the DLSS on, um, it does improve frame rates. Um, I, did have, I do have uh, medium ray tracing lighting on, um, and the DLSS has been recently activated. Um, it basically was grayed out where I couldn't select it um, for quite a while. So um, it's been implemented and um, I'm able to um, have an improvement. This is just a bit of uh, combat uh, game footage. 
um, for people that haven't um, played the game, there is a free uh, demo available on Steam if you'd like to try it out. I will be putting game links of where you can um, buy um, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, within probably a few days. They're coming. What of your daughter, Hakan? It's been arranged. She'll be safe with Jaska. She'll raise her to be strong and kind and, and not like me. You heard. I knew. My apologies on Rise of the Tomb Raider video. Um, the DLSS um, is not uh, implemented quite yet. Um, so, um, I basically did the video, um, with the resolution modifier, which is used, uh, when you're in windowed mode. So that's basically what my results show in that video. And I'm sorry for the confusion there. Take it. For if you ever get the chance. So in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, Laura uh, can swim quite deep. Um, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, she stays near the surface. So this is uh, Laura collecting some uh, resources, some gold, I believe, there on the rock. As with Rise of the Tomb Raider, you have these campfires or base camps. So as you approach it, um, it automatically saves your game. Um, you can um, upgrade your skills, uh, your weapons, your um, outfits. And you can fast travel between other base camps. So if you've uh, missed a few items, um, you can go back and, and try and achieve 100% if you wish.
this is a new bow um, which was just one in this mission this last mission and um, it's just being fully upgraded And here's an example of a uh, trading post or merchant or market. Now Laura's just selling her um, gold. I'm sure you will and, be satisfied. And um, other resources, and also buying anything that she might With need. You. That's a good deal for both of us. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.